Hello everyone! Oh my goodness, look at you! It's so nice to see you! I haven't seen you in a while. My name is Holly and welcome back to another TBR video. Today I'll be showing you a stack of books that I want to read in February. I read a lot in January, which by the way, if you're looking for my reviews for those books that I read last month, I will be trying something new and posting them as YouTube shorts. 60 second book reviews just sound really fun to me, so be sure to check that tab out every um, so often because I want to do that for most books that I read and have like their own little like quick short review moment. It sounds really fun. So I am now writing a very successful reading wave and I'm on a mission this month to keep storming through some great chunky books. I have fantasy and sci-fi here that I'm really excited about. Speaking of trying something new, I'd like to thank today's sponsor, which is BetterHelp. BetterHelp is the world's largest therapy service and it's 100% online. With BetterHelp, you can tap into a network with licensed and experienced therapists who can help you with a wide range of issues. And to get started, you just answer a few questions about your needs and preferences in therapy, and that way BetterHelp can like match you with the right therapist from their network. Then you can talk to your therapist however you feel comfortable, whether it's through chat, that's definitely going to be me, <laughs> or a phone call or a video call. You can message your therapist at any time and even schedule live sessions when it's convenient for you. And if your therapist isn't the right fit for any reason whatsoever, no questions asked, you can switch to a new therapist at no additional charge. So with better help, you get the same quality you would expect from an in-office therapy, but with a therapist who is custom picked for you. There's more scheduling, flexibility, and at a more affordable price. Right now, you can get 10% off your first month by going to www.betterhelp.com backslash hollyheartsbooks. Or you can find my special URL linked in the description box below. Thank you, BetterHelp, for working with me today. So I have four books here and the first I'd like to get to is The Unbroken. This is an adult fantasy that came out in the first quarter of last year so I've been looking forward to it for um, a while. And I want to prioritize it this month because the sequel is coming out in March so I figured I could kind of read them back to back. I know some heavy themes here are vengeance and rebellion plus I really want to read about the main character's arms just because how freaking beefy and sculpted they are. I'm like ultimate goals, honestly. Actually, I used to have arms like these myself, but they have gone flat. <laughs> I've been eating too many pizzas. <laughs> it's a sapphic fantasy set in the setting of a desert kingdom inspired by North Africa and follows the intertwined destinies of two women and it also features assassinations and massacres. And I'm pretty positive I'm going to be blown away by this book. The next book I have here is The Stars Undying. This is a new sci-fi space opera that I had actually started reading when it came out in November, I think. Man, it sounds like so long ago, but my brain was fried, so I set it down and never finished it. But what I read, I really, really enjoyed. I'm going to reread like the 50 or so pages I had read previously because there's no freaking way um, I remember any of it. My brain at the time was already like a soaking wet sponge and it literally couldn't take in any more info. I'm much better now, but this is a new sci-fi space opera. Um, this is inspired by the lives of Julius Caesar and Cleopatra. So like history lovers out there, if you're looking for a history oriented sci-fi, um, this was definitely made for you. And this follows a de dethroned princess working to reclaim her throne by any means necessary. And that sounds badass. Hopefully a lot of bloodshed happens, betrayal. I mean, it's Julius Caesar. There has to be betrayal, right? <laughs> if the world is as expansive as the cover depicts, um, which is one of the main reasons I want to read it, this cover is freaking gorgeous. I love landscape covers in sci-fi and fantasy, so like instant attraction, um, then this should be one hell of a ride. I, I'll definitely have a YouTube short up for this one um, this month. Probably, actually, I, I feel like it might be the first book that I finish. So a YouTube short review for this one should be soon. So be sure to have my notifications on um, if you want to know my thoughts on it. The Adventures of Amina al Sarafi. I feel like this is a book you're going to see everyone reading, including me. This is the start to a brand new series from the author of um, The City of Brass and that 
trilogy. This book sounds so freaking fun. It's a historical sea-bound adventure set in the Middle Ages across the Islamic world full of adventure and magic. While it is technically set in the same world as the city of Brass, um, just like centuries earlier, I think, I don't think there's going to be much overlap as this is about the human world. I could be wrong, but that's what I've heard. I myself have not read that trilogy, though I do own City of Brass, so I'm kind of breaking my own rule of reading books in the same universe in order as I shout at everyone to do that for um, the First Law universe, but I think that is way more crucial. But yeah, again, I could be wrong. Anyways, very excited to read this as I was given the opportunity to review it early. So again, we'll be doing a YouTube short for this one as well. Hopefully I'm just gushing about it because honestly, a fantasy on like the high seas and desert fantasy, and this includes like the Wild West, though they are the complete opposite of one another, are my absolute favorite settings. So we only have one more book left, even though I feel like, I'm feeling confident that I can read more books than this. But um, for now, this is the only book I'm going to mention because I mean, we need to save some room for mood reading. Um, the Tyranny of Faith. So I mentioned this book in my January TBR, but I really, really want to read it physically and, and annotate it like I did the first one. And it comes out in February, so now I'll be able to read the real copy instead of like Kindle. I'm just in one of those moods where I want to hold an actual book and flip the pages. And weirdly enough, I read physical faster than I read digitally. And I know that sounds weird because when you read on your Kindle, it's so easy to just tap to the next page and keep going. But for me, seeing the actual like page numbers go up motivates me to read for longer periods of time. And I also just read the words faster on paper. I can like fly through a physical book while a digital book, I have to read the words more carefully. I even like um, have dark mode on and I have a specific font that I like too. I forget what it's called, but I don't know. I can't explain it. And I just, I don't know. I don't know why. And I just don't know why that's the case. But um, and are any of you the same? Maybe you are. Do you read physical books faster than digital? Or are you the opposite? Do you read digital books faster than physical? I'm curious. So those are all the books that I plan to prioritize um, in February, even though, like I said, I feel like I'm, I feel confident, man. I feel like I can read way more than this. Um, it's a really exciting stack full of new releases and some older ones. It's like the perfect balance of fantasy with a little change up of sci-fi in the middle. So everything should keep my interest peaked. And that's the ultimate goal, right? To keep myself reading fun books. I can be like a squirrel sometimes where I see something in the distance and just like laser point my eyeballs and attention to it. <laughs> Maybe that's like my ADHD or something, but with the amount of new releases coming in the next few months, whew, that is a tough situation to be in for all of us, I think. So tell me below what you plan to read this month because I would love to know. Tell me what you're excited about, what is getting your attention, um, any new releases that you're pumped for. I just, I would love to start a conversation down there. Also, be sure to check out that better help offer, which is linked below for you. Use my link to sign up and get 10% off your first month. Thank you so much for watching and until we meet again, happy reading.